Big well, I mean, no, have no, you been no. have you been watching the Subaru of New England text line? No, like, they're I, all over you. They 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 a lot of them believe that this team overachieved. So they are they're not upset this morning, Bruins fans. So so uh, so going into this season, let's get this right. And I don't see the text line because obviously it's behind me, and I'm focused on the show. I do see the uh, what was the over the, under on regular season wins? It was under 500, wasn't it? Shimer. No, I, I don't no think way. it was under 500. I don't I don't know off the top of my head what it was. I can try and find I don't it, but... think anybody on this program or any callers thought that they were going to make the playoffs, Wiggy. What? Yes. On this show, definitely not. You didn't think this, this team was going to make the playoffs? No. Man. Am I in Bizarro yes. World? I feel like I'm on an episode of Seinfeld. Am I, am I in Bizarro World? I think, and, and Shime was like, this team is going to have a hard go at it, and then all season long was giving them credit. And I saw a Twitcher earlier wow. that had a good point that said, you look at their points, yeah, they they their regular season, if you just look at the points, it looks great, but they got a majority of those points. But everybody in, on the show picked them to beat over- the Panthers. In overtime. I'm talking about before the season started. There's no one on this show before the season started that said this team wasn't going to make the playoffs. Nobody. I, I don't think there was a Bruins fan out there that said that. Shime didn't even say that. No, I said they needed to make the playoffs and make a little noise, which right. is exactly what they did. So now that now we're once we started talking about Brad and the surgeries, I think that the the feelings were pretty low. Morale was low going into the season for the Bruins, and we were all surprised. Who was surprised? No, I was surprised. That what? That they played as well as they did. I, I'm i stunned because this team, when even Pasta said it, and that's what sounds like excuse made. Even Pasta was like, well, we didn't expect to make the play. You go you and stop with the losing of eight players when you can really think about the three players that you lost. Bertuzzi, I'll give you credit. He was somebody that did well for you in the the postseason. Orloff helped you out. Taylor Hall gave you nothing. So let's stop with the tail. We lost Taylor Hall. Okay, David Krejci. Uh, Okay, Krejci. And and people were telling us. And Bergeron. No, no. People were like, why'd you play Bergeron? Right? So now let's now all of a sudden go. People are like, why'd they even play Bergeron? But the fact that now everybody is now like, oh, this team wasn't yeah, going to make it. because he was hurt, though. But the Bruins, like, pre- not... the Bruins preseason over-under for total points was 101. Correct. So that is a very good season you're well, making. Well, it's a playoff playoffs. team. It's not a very good well, it's season. Top but... 10, it's eighth best preseason over-under in terms of points in the NHL, according to this website. Yeah, and at 100, if they had finished right at their over-under, Curtis, of 100 points, they would have been the... What is this? One, two, three, four, fifth team in the East. Right. I'm, okay. I'm, in Vegas, the NFL win totals are usually no higher than 12 or 13. Teams end up winning 15. We're talking about what the feeling was preseason, and there were only seven teams preseason out of 30 that had a higher predicted over-under for points. And we basically told them to lose the last game of the regular season so they could finish. You did. Yeah, I did, so they could finish where they finished and get uh, Toronto in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like this team finished uh where they finished fourth in the conference? Correct. So it wasn't like this team finished fourth in the conference which was a mile away from the team that finished third. We they we could have flip-flopped them if they won the last game where they finished third in the conference. Now all of a sudden people are like, "Oh, we our expectations were this team what wasn't even going to make the playoffs." What were your expectations for the Bruins going into the season? They'd be really good in the regular season and they make the playoffs. Which they did. So Which why are did. you mad? Right. Yeah. I'm mad because my expectations are when they won round. Did you think they were going to win a Stanley Cup? I didn't think they were going to win a Stanley Cup. So then, like, what, what are we talking about here? We're talking about people are now saying that they didn't expect this team to yeah, even I make the playoffs. This, I thought this team was going to have a really tough go at it. And I think that that's all credit to how Jim Montgomery was round, able. Uh, Courtney, round one. Everybody. I'm not talking about going into the playoffs. I'm talking about before the season started when we had no idea when Brad Marchand was right. going to be able to come back. What was your expectations before the Wild season? card team at most. Come on, man. Wild card team at most? Yeah. Stop it. This is Tom from Vermont. Hello, Tom. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Listen, Jeremy Jacobs' ownership doesn't care. He just wants to fill the seat. As long as they put a halfway decent product out there, you know what I mean? Until they go ahead and spend some serious money, nothing's going to change. It's like they're just teasing us enough to keep us enticed. 
and we're always going to have the same thing. We're going to make it to the first round, and then we're going to fall on oh, our wait, face. Wait, wait, wait. You don't think they went for it last season? Like, that's not fair. They they had an extraordinary team last year at the trade deadline, and they added to it. So, I, so what so, happened? They lost in the first round. No, they did. Yes, they did. They that's lost. outdated, though. Like and the, that's what the Jacobs that's compo- on them. The yeah. Jacobs component. You can blame the Jacobs for Mm -hmm. forcing a hard cap, which is what they did. But ever since they got their cap, they spend to it. Like, I I don't think you can rip them in terms of... I mean, I think they're happy. If you ask the Jacobs, was it a successful season? They will say yes. Plus, they get to keep getting the gate at the TD Garden because the Celtics keep playing and they own the place. But I I don't think that... um, I, I don't believe that we would give the leeway to other superstars the way Pasta is talking after that game. I think he'd be getting crucified. And Curtis, but do you think it might be the lost in translation European player thing? Uh, um, uh, I mean, I think if Pedro said something I, like that, even though English isn't his first language, mm-hmm. I mean, he speaks better English than I do. But I mean, you you think he should get killed more for the way in which he said? Well, that, it's not right? a woe is me. It right. was a game you led. You were leading in two or three of these games, at least three games that you lost. You've lost six straight home games to right. a team that at best is equal. Yeah, I mean, it's not a. It's he not... doesn't seem upset by it. I right. guess is I. We can play the audio again. This is David. No, no you can't. My computer is currently mm. loading something. I was oh. trying to look for something else. So, oh, I see. So I uh, oh, can't goodness. currently oh. click into well, anything oh. at the moment. Isn't the oh. word? Isn't the word? <laughs> Greg. The system is great. I love it. Oh, it's. Uh, I love being here. Okay. Greg, isn't the word? Uh, I'll surmise what you... he said. No. No, is it summarize. Notes? Summarize. Summarize. Okay, yes. summarize. Well, one can surmise. Summar- All right, thank you, you Curtis. Surmise, the, yes. I, I always go to you. He's a wordsmith. You're, Smith, you're the smartest one yes. on the show. Yes. He well, basically, well, uh, Pasta basically said, like, all of a sudden, all these Bruins fans, please call in the ones that feel like Pasta that we weren't going to make the playoffs. And so it was, a, it was an over-achieving uh, year for us because we weren't going to make the playoffs. All these Bruins fans that now believe that, please feel free, call in. <laughs> Call in. I mean, I know Courtney believes that. Call in. I see him in the Twitch. Oh, Curtis and I don't know. Listen, Curtis and I are the smartest when it comes to hockey. Really? We are the smartest. We are the, we are the princes of puck. Yes, we are. All right, here is David Pasternak. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm so, super proud of the, the group. Uh, we got much younger. Uh, we had some experienced guys who came in and uh, who won the Cups and, and did an unbelievable job, you know, that... Uh, any player could learn from, you know, and, and you know, guys that grabbed the opportunity that, that came, you know, and, and did a good job. So a lot of people were saying, you know, going to make the playoffs, you know, or be the at wildcard spot, you know, and, and I think uh, we put ourselves in a good spot for going into playoffs. And, and uh, so it's definitely, uh, you know, a lot of, how I said, much younger team and, and uh, good experience for uh, for some guys uh, to get that uh, first playoff series win you know and good uh, little motivation going uh, for into the summer for next next uh, next season oh yeah we all said you were going to make the playoffs past them who said that uh, yeah that, i that, mean that, that's that, stop it that is a straw man yeah i mean stop it we all i don't think anybody had expectations that you guys would win the stanley cups no uh, and i don't think anybody expected that but we did expect they'd make the playoffs and they would be a very, very competitive team because of the goaltending. And then when we saw how the series were playing out, because everybody said Toronto, perfect matchup. Everybody talked about we dominated them during the regular season. That's all I heard before that series. Mm-hmm. You dominate, dominate. We got the better goalie. You do, you push it to a game seven, you win. Then you win game one in Florida, and everybody's like, oh, Bruins going to win this series. Mm-hmm. I even said it. Well, and the other thing is, you can't say a team that handpicks by losing intentionally their final games, their first round opponent, was somehow overachieving. You got the team you wanted, you went up three games to one, and you almost blew that being not only the first team in hockey, the first team in any playoffs history, losing consecutive three games to one. Then you open the next series, Captain Puck, Wiggy, and I picked the Bruins in game one, nailed it, and you're up in game two, after winning game one on the road, in the second period, with an open net that Marshawn missed, and you could go up two games to none. I'm sorry, this is not some overachieving roster. No. Over- if they made it to the conference final and lost to the Rangers, nobody would be saying right. that they had a Correct. bad year. Correct. But that was the sort of linchpin, and they couldn't get past the team that they were not that more, they were not inferior to. Greg, overachieving means you're the eight seed, you're back into the playoffs. You barely get in, and you win a round or two. That's overachiever. Not a team that 
at one point in time towards the end of the season, they looked like they were the second best but team in David the conference. But David Pasternak sounds like he is completely comfortable with where they ended up. Well, that's why I told you the hockey fans are not as critical because if Tatum would have said that, boy, please, if right. Tatum would have said that, but the, the, they the Celtics are them. such a different team than the Bruins no, right now. But we, I'm not talking we about the what, teams. I'm just but, talking about but what if they Tatum said. said. If Tatum said that with the current team that he has around him, then mm-hmm. yeah, people are going to be much more critical than David Pasternak saying this when I'm telling you a lot of Bruins fans felt like they overachieved this season. During the season, were we ever like, wow, the Bruins are unstoppable? <laughs> No, I but don't we, think we like, ever said that. But we were like, no, good. we spent uh, countless days discussing how they blew a game, you know, yeah. uh, in overtime, yes. over and over and over right. and over yes. again in the regular season. And the points added up because they were losing these games. In they were taking these games to overtime. But they were they still, were not beating teams. They were still easily. a good hockey team. Though. I'm not saying they're a, they're a bad hockey but team. But they were an you're talking, you're talking about them. Like, we all talked about them last season. No, no. Going into this season, it was a much different narrative. No, I'm talking about them in reality and realistically. You guys are Just because you think something differently than somebody else, it doesn't mean that you live in reality and I do not. Nobody in this world, (laughs) uh, nobody in New England thought that this team wasn't going to make the playoffs this okay. year at the beginning of the season. I remember things quite differently. And but... if people did believe that, they were living in the fantasy world that I was living in when I said give Cam Newton $30 million a year. Okay. There's... I don't remember you saying that. Well, yeah, that's a long time ago, Curtis. Statue of limitation. God, I hate when you guys are on the same side. But there's no one. There's no one. And I don't – There's and now all of a sudden, this is the – this is the excuse that we're we're having. Yes, they're calling you in the Twitch chat. They're calling you ignorant. Well, that's uh, hurtful. Well, I would uh, also say yes. I, better than Tatum, even though Tatum is more topical because obviously he's a, he's a contemporary of pasta. If Manny, after losing Game Seven of the O three ALCS, said we went further, we had a good year. You know, we we all tried our best. He get killed. He would right. get killed for killed it. for it. That's yeah. why I said Bruins fans are way more forgiven and excuse-making than any other fans. Where are all the Bruins fans that should be calling up and going, this was not an overachieving team? Well, Fire Maria Monty. Won't. I want Monty fired. I want Monty. Where are those Bruins fans? The ones that Maria I, won't call anyone. The ones that I grew up with at Christie's <laughs> Pizza. The ones that are critical. Now it's like, oh, the, the only fans we have from are the overachievers. 